Imagine playing Red Dead Online for almost 6,000 hours and losing all of your progress. Well, no need to imagine it anymore because it's already happening. Red Dead Online is permanently shutting down soon for players on Stadia and today on the show we will be talking about that news that shocked gamers recently as well as we'll also be talking about that some actions Rockstar can take to assist players using the Stadia servers. With all that said, let's get into the video. So Google Stadia is shutting down in January of 2023 and all games that are running on Stadia will no longer function and will become unplayable after that date. One of those games is Red Dead Redemption 2 and of course Red Dead Online. Content creator and streamer It's Color has spent almost 6,000 hours total playing Red Dead on Stadia and his progress will essentially be wiped at the beginning of next calendar year because of Google Stadia going offline. And as he states in his social media post showing off his in-game time and progress that he's accumulated over the years, you don't understand how seriously pissed off I am. For context, these hours are on Google Stadia and today Google announced that they'll be shutting down the platform. Rockstar Games, please let us do a one-time character transfer, I am begging you. Now I couldn't even imagine putting in all that time for it just to be taken away by this surprise announcement, and having seen a few of his streams in the past, it really sucks to see a good content creator lose all of that progress of the game that they put so much time into sharing with their community, and he was the first Stadia player to make over $1 million in game, and was probably one of the first people in general to reach $1 million legit too in red that across all platforms, and of course one could say, well, Stadia players could just buy a console or PC to keep playing, but that's not realistic for some, as Stadia allowed them to access games that they otherwise either could not afford or for some other reason couldn't access. But even for everyone else who could just get a new console anyway, they're still going to need to restart from zero in all of their games. And this is where the support from Rockstar should come into play. It's not Rockstar's fault necessarily that these players won't be able to play their games. You know, this is Google's platform and Google is the one that's shutting down its cloud gaming service. And without this news, I would expect that Rockstar would continue to offer support for Red Dead Online with Stadia because it was contracted with them. But now with this recent announcement. Where is the Rockstar Games Newswire addressing Stadia players and their plans for rectifying the situation? Because Google itself is refunding all purchases that Stadia users made on the games, etc. So for players like Color and the rest of the Red Dead community on Google Stadia, what recourse do they have with the specific game developers? According to some other developers who posted on Twitter and Facebook, the news of Stadia shutting down came as a shock to them as well, just like everyone else, because they were not notified in advance, of course, and Rockstar most likely wasn't either, so there would be no front running with this news from Google. However, now that it's all out in the open today, each and every developer should have some sort of statement prepared for their player base on what the next steps will be. I just checked Google Stadia's website landing page before making this video to see if they have some sort of like pinned banner announcement stating that their services are going offline. And right now there's just nothing besides the blog post confirming this news, which was shared on Twitter. So Rockstar could at least put some sort of in-game alert or alert on their website for Stadia players to let their players know that their accounts will no longer be accessible starting next year. And that's the very least they could do. Ultimately, it is great to see that a lot of gaming websites are sharing this story of Colors experience and then other players because this is just bringing more eyes to, onto the broader issue of what all Stadia players are going through and what's going to happen to them come next year. And so hopefully there is a solution for them in some way. This isn't confirmed as of yet, but some support that I would hope that Rockstar could give to Stadia customers would be for them to be able to transfer their character and progress from Google Stadia to a new platform of their choice like color requested, you know, either between Xbox, PlayStation, or PC if they so choose. This is something that's possible to do in many other games, whether it's a game like Destiny, even though now as of this year, it's already cross-platform as of a recent update, but previously before that game went cross-platform and cross-play, they did allow players to sign into any platform of their choice one at a time and log into their Destiny account on that platform. And that Destiny account is the one feature that links all the other platforms together, meaning you could you know, be mainly an Xbox player for Destiny, and then you go over to your friend's house, but he has PlayStation. But if you log into your account on his PlayStation, you get all your Destiny progress on his PlayStation because it's your account, it's not tied to the platform necessarily. And Call of Duty, for example, allows players to transfer progress entirely from platform to platform, meaning if you're a player who mainly plays on Xbox or PlayStation or vice versa, whatever, and you want to make the switch to the opposite platform and you want all your unlocks and ranks to come with you, they allow you to do that. And then of course, 
they're taking your say level 300 character for the season from xbox putting it on the playstation and then you won't have a, an account on xbox necessarily with that progress because it's been permanently transferred but you could transfer it back if you wanted to later is my understanding from how that works but with rockstar they only allow its player base to change systems when they actually upgrade console generations for example you could transfer your gta online character from xbox 360 to xbox one when you want to upgrade console generations and now xbox one players can move to xbox series x or i think xbox 360 could also move to ps4 in the past for example either way they would allow you only to do it in those situations they don't just allow players on demand like for example allowing a playstation 5 user to change their character from playstation 5 to xbox series x so that they can play on that console you know it's not as easy for rockstar to do it just because there are microtransaction purchases to take into account that are platform specific so most likely if such a transfer was allowed by rockstar players may lose out on any mtx currency sitting in their account but everything else in the game that was unlocked or used should and would transfer and this should 100 be done for google stadia players of red that online and i would argue that it should be done for players of all other games too that are offered on other platforms but this being a rockstar focused channel for the past several years i can really only speak to the red dead community right now there is no current newswire from rockstar currently about this massive letdown for stadia players and it is the responsibility of them to inform their customers that they will no longer be allowed to access their purchase products in the future and in the next few months but considering rockstar made tens of millions of dollars from this deal for putting their games on the stadia platform i think they should do players that service and the courtesy of transferring their accounts to another platform if those players want it's all connected through rockstar games social club anyway but rockstar still individually ties each platform under the specific rockstar umbrella so despite you only having one social club account that ties all your platforms together you can still only have different level characters per platform under that rockstar account it's not just one rockstar account one character tied across all the platforms now the worst that can happen here is that all stadia players lose access to red that online and stadia with no ability to transfer their character no refunds for microtransaction purchases from rockstar and that's the end of the story and despite stadia being a small platform in and of itself it's still part of the overall red dead community and we should all be trying to preserve what i think is one of the best and most special online experiences i've played in a long time with that said though i highly encourage you to go check out color socials and i will leave his links down in the description below for you to check out hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best red dead online and rockstar games content consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel we consider talk about updates news information tips tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below with that being said thank you all so much for watching everyone i hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video Adios, amigos.